Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Farhat, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of energy. I have placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 4. Joel kicks a ball and the diagram below shows the path of the ball after he has kicked it. We are supposed to look for the correct changes to the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the ball from position Y to Z. To start off this question, it is good to write the energy conversion after Joel has kicked the ball and the ball moves to position Y and finally moving down to position Z. Let's begin with Joel kicking the ball. Is the ball moving? Yes, the ball is moving. And what is the energy possessed by moving objects? The ball will possess kinetic energy. I'm going to use Ke for short. And as the ball moves higher and higher above the ground to position Y, what is the energy possessed by the ball? The ball will possess gravitational potential energy, or GPE for short. So the kinetic energy possessed by the ball is being converted to GPE. And what happens as the ball moves down to position Z? Is the ball's height above the ground increasing or decreasing? The ball's height above the ground is decreasing. So what happens to the amount of GPE possessed by the ball? The amount of GPE possessed by the ball is also decreasing. And since the GPE decreases, what happened to the GPE? Can the gravitational potential energy just disappear? We know energy cannot be created or destroyed. The gravitational potential energy possessed by the ball must be converted to another type of energy. And what is the energy possessed by the ball as it moves to position Z? The ball will possess kinetic energy. So the GPE is converted to kinetic energy. Now that we've written the energy conversion of the ball, we can identify the correct change to the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the ball at position Y to Z. Let me highlight that position for you. So as the GPE possessed by the ball at position Y is being converted to kinetic energy of the ball at Z, what should happen to the amount of kinetic energy? Should it increase or decrease? The amount of kinetic energy should increase. So if we take a look at the first column, the kinetic energy of the ball should increase as it moves from position Y to Z. With that, we can eliminate option 1 and 2, leaving us with option 3 and 4. As the amount of kinetic energy possessed by the ball is increasing, what happens to the speed of the ball? Is the ball moving faster or slower? The ball is moving faster. So as the ball falls from position Y to Z, you will notice that the ball will move faster and faster towards the ground. Let's take a look at the next column. What happens to the potential energy of the ball as it moves from position Y to Z? Again, the GPE possessed by the ball at position Y is being converted to kinetic energy at position Z. So as the GPE is being converted, what should happen to the amount of GPE? Should it increase or decrease? The GPE should decrease. So the potential energy of the ball should decrease giving us our answer as option 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!